All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an honest review of the Boat Rackham inflatable paddleboard. All right, let's check it out. All right, so let's check out some of the features on this board. We're actually going to start in the back. Um, and first off, I want to apologize for the copious amounts of like forehead sweat I got going on right now. Um, it's like upper 80s here in central New York. And like before you guys start messaging me and commenting, like, you know, Sean, that's not that hot, dude. Get over it. Suck it up. Um, I'm here to tell you it, it's, it's hot here. It's hot. So anyway, here we go. All right. So let's start here at the back of the board. Um, it actually starts off here. It's got a power pole micro um, anchoring system mount here on the back of the paddle board. Kind of moving up the back here, you'll notice the first um, inflation port. Um, first up back here is kind of some gear storage bungees. All right, and you'll notice there's a couple attachment points here and on the opposite side as well. Um, those are for the uh, sand spear sheath that comes with the paddle board. Attached in the board here are the tackle rack receiver mounts as well. Um, the tackle rack receivers are for um, mounting the, the tackle rack. That's an optional accessory for this paddle board. Um, it's pretty neat that you're able to have all of these features and all these mounting points and stuff on an inflatable board and not a hard board. Um, next thing up here, you've got the cooler tie down attachment points. Um, I use these every single time I go out. Um, it's been kind of a game changer for me to be able to have a seat or um, if you're getting really adventurous, you need to have a little bit better visibility, being able to stand up on that cooler as well um, and be able to bring out cold drinks and, you know, keep your lunch in it and everything else. And it's just been kind of a game changer for, for spending a nice quality day on the water. Um, in the center here, we've got some like little molly strips here for some attachment points top of the sand spear attachment so you just kind of run it lengthwise down the board to keep it secure while you're paddling um, and you'll notice there's more of the tackle rack receivers here on the front all right moving on up we've got a bigger bungee gear uh, containment system here um, kind of going around the paddle come back to that and the front here I don't use it, but the board comes with what's called a paddle sheath. All right, um, I know that's the attachment point for that as well. Um, it's a piece of plastic that has a slit in the middle of it. And you're able to, um, when you arrive to a point where you want to fish, you can just stick the flat part of that paddle into that sheath and keep it out of your way. Um, last but not least, we can talk about the paddle that comes with it. Um, you'll notice it's a three-piece adjustable paddle. Um, this piece here, try to do this one-handed, will extend to your correct uh, paddling height. And this point here just sort of clips apart, and you're able to take that apart into two halves and store it in the bag that it comes with all right so that's kind of a quick rundown of all the features that are on this specific board and i kind of want to go over the pros and cons of using the boat rack them for all of my open water fishing all right Whew. man all right so like i said we went over some of the uh, basic features of the board um, and I kind of want to go through my pros and cons list with you guys. All right, so one of the advantages of having an inflatable paddle board obviously is its portability. Uh, just being able to deflate it, roll it up, put it in its bag. Um, this brand, uh, Boat, the bag that it comes in, is it's actually pretty bomb proof. I've thrown this thing in and out of the back of my truck for about a year now and it's, it's held up great. Um, it's got roller wheels on the bottom of it, it's water resistant, you can fit your paddle in it, the pump, obviously the board, it comes with a removable center fin so it rolls up nice and neat. Also because of that bag and it's bomb proofness, 
is that a word? Um, you're able to actually check it as luggage. So you can take this thing with you if you want to go fishing down the Caribbean or Florida or something like that, kind of all over the country, you can take this with you. All right, another pro to this board is its stability. Um, I've ridden other inflatable paddle boards that weren't as long or as wide as this. Um, a lot of inflatables tend to be a little on the smaller side. Another advantage of this boat Rackham is its customizability. You're able to really kind of customize what you want on it. I kind of showed you all the different attachment points that you can add to it. You can add as much or as little to this board to really sort of make it your ultimate fishing machine. Another pro to this board that I wasn't really expecting, um, inflatable paddle boards aren't really known for their efficiency in the water. However, this one I haven't really had to fight that much. Um, the hole in the front of the board is flat, so it doesn't really kind of cut through a lot of the chop like a hard board would. Um, but I still don't find myself struggling paddling around. All right, and another pro to just fishing off a paddle board in general um, is its shallow draft. You're able to get in much shallower, much skinnier water than you would obviously with a full-size boat. All right, so let's talk about cons, shall we? Um, one of the biggest ones that I kind of struggle with actually, and it's just, it's my personal <laughs> demons that I'm battling myself, is actually the setup time for it. You know, you have to arrive at your fishing spot, you have to take the thing out of your truck or the back of your SUV, right? You have to unroll the thing, um, you have to pump it up, you know, all while you're getting all your fishing gear ready and everything else. It's not as simple as just grabbing a board or a kayak off the top of your car, chucking your stuff in there, and off you go. Um, now, when you're doing it, it feels like it's taking forever, but I've actually timed it and it's, I'm, in park, in the water, in about 10 minutes. So, um, but if you're like me, you're really excited, you're just, you know, you wanna get out there and get going, there is a little bit of setup time that's involved with the fishing off of the inflatable power board. All right, so another con to using this paddle board is its size and its weight, and it can be kind of bulky to move around um, once it's inflated. Um, I think I mentioned earlier, this all said and done is probably around 40, 45 pounds. Um, the bag that it comes in with all the gear and everything else, you're looking at right around 50 pounds. Um, so it's not light by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so it takes a little bit of work to kind of maneuver around and obviously when it's fully inflated, it's just kind of bulky to lug around and everything else. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for me. Hopefully this video was helpful for you if you're deciding whether you want to use a kayak or paddleboard, which paddleboard should you get, anything like that. Um, so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up for me. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of the new videos. All right, guys, hope to see you out on the water. Thank you.